Washington decides to what to call legitimate information and should consider prosecuting Americans who partake in whatever it brands propaganda. That's the message from former U.S. Secretary of State and veteran Democrat Hillary Clinton. I think there are Americans who are uh, engaged in uh, this kind of propaganda. Uh, and whether they should be civilly or even in some cases criminally charged uh, is something that would be a better deterrent. Well, let's uh, discuss all this with RT contributor Tara Reid now. Tara, many thanks for coming in. Lovely to see you today. Uh, first of all, what's your reaction to Hillary Clinton's suggestion there, especially considering she's a Democrat, you, you know, quite obviously, and that party always claims to be standing up for freedom of the speech, freedom of the press? You know, it's really amazing, isn't it, um, that they trot out Dick Cheney, a warmonger, and then the other warmonger, Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. So they're pulling out all the stops right before the election. Um, and you know what also struck me, Nikki, was that it's the day after the attempt on Donald Trump's life that she's making these really inflammatory statements that's further dividing the country again. So if the Democrats want to be viewed as the party of unity, they're certainly not going about it the right way. And Hillary Clinton um, is also very hypocritical since she was the one who made up the Russia Gate narrative in the first place and used that, that playbook mm -hmm. and got caught. The Steele dossier was false and revealed and of course, Julian Assange exposed, you know, Hillary's uh, fraudulent activities to actually influence the election. And yet, yet, Hillary Clinton remains super influential among the Democratic Party. So having said that, how do you think her suggestion is going to go down with the Biden-Harris well, I think that she has a partnership with, a, with Democratic leadership. So you have the elites all gathering around trying to basically hold on to power, um, basically keep, you know, it's interesting she uses words like disinformation, misinformation. That's a very subjective word. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's basically saying that their truth is the only truth. They're not listening to other voices and certainly not to the voices of the American people. Do you expect Kamala Harris to echo similar talking points as in the final weeks towards the election? Oh, she already has. And mm -hmm. she's made it clear in the recent past, there's video of her talking about censoring social media further. Um, that video clip has been surfacing and uh, haunting her, as it were. Um, but she seems to be standing by it proudly. Um, it's unbelievable that the um, Democrats seem to think that freedom of speech is something subjective, that they that can only apply to them, but no one else. Mm. You recently returned from the U.S. Can you tell us about the state of free speech there right now? I've never seen it. Um, any worse. You know, I, I have to say, I, I've never seen people so scared. I mean, your average person, Nikki, is really scared mm -hmm. to post their opinions online for fear of being tracked by the government, prevented from work, prevented, you know, censored, um, or even, you know, targeted by the government. So that's really something new um, to my experience in the United States. And it was really shocking. And what sort of legal measures can Americans take to protect themselves from prosecution for taking part in alternative media coverage like some of our guests? Well, you know, and that's what people need to know, that they do have their rights. Remember that the government works for us in America. We don't, you know, they don't, they think, seem to think that Americans work for them. And we need to get it turned around. And as far as Americans go, Americans should be able to be on any alternative network they want they should be able to express any opinion they want. That is really part of the Constitution. And so there is way, legal ways to fight this because it is very flimsy what they're doing. And I think um, more and more discussions around free speech is going to be happening in the next few weeks. So what kind of response do you expect to Hillary Clinton's words there? Well, she's already receiving some backlash um, because Hillary Clinton is not the popular figure she once was. Mm. In fact, there's a lot of backlash towards her, um, especially because it's well known that she fabricated the Russiagate. So I think trotting her out, the Democrats trotting her out um, to try to represent their views was probably a huge mistake. Tara, many thanks for coming in today. It's always nice to see you. RT contributor Tara Reid, thank, thank you. you.